hands together and feel the zest With joyful hearts that vividly want ease Our inspiration is seen to fight emptiness Enlightening sour dreams in dancing our destiny Guide our path to unbearable brightness With all the courage, confidence against sadness Gently to an enormous path of success Strong in devour to a millions of graces All of the laughter, tears and memories To his great world of ventures and happiness Scouting for life Also guide us to survive Vision and mission to keep us alive Strong camaraderie to relieve sorrow and pain Our desire to grow Magnify our dreams We sacrifice ourselves, reliance our age Your minds, young hearts, can the least of With joyful hearts that vividly want ease Our inspiration destined to fight emptiness Enlighten our dreams in tossing our destiny Guide our path to unbearable brightness With all the courage, confidence against sadness Move gently to an enormous path of success Strong in labor to a millions of praises All of the laughter, tears and memories To this great world of ventures and happiness Scouting for life Also guide us to survive The vision and mission to keep us alive Strong camaraderie to relieve sorrow and pain Our desire to grow Magnify our dreams We sacrifice ourselves, realize our age Your minds, young hearts, get a list of action
dance together and feel the zest With joyful hearts that vividly want ease Our inspiration is theme to fight emptiness Enlighten our dreams in dancing our destiny Guide our path to unbearable brightness With all the courage, confidence against sadness Move gently to an enormous path of success Strong in labor to a millions of graces All of the laughter, tears and memories To this great world of ventures and happiness Scouting for life Also guide us to survive The vision and mission to keep us alive Strong camaraderie to relieve sorrow and pain. Our desire to grow, magnify our dreams. We sacrifice ourselves, reliance our age. Your minds, your Mars, get the least of action. With joyful hearts that vividly want ease Our inspiration is theme to fight emptiness Enlightens our dreams in tossing our destiny Guide our path to unbearable brightness With all the courage, confidence against sadness Move gently to an enormous path of success Strong in labor to a millions of graces All of the laughter, tears and memories To this great world of ventures and happiness Scouting for life Also guide us to survive The vision and mission to keep us alive Strong camaraderie to relieve sorrow and pain. Our desire to grow, magnify our dreams. We sacrifice ourselves, reliance our age. Your mind shall march, get a list of action.
Recording in progress. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Good morning, sir. Bilang mo. Please settle down. Thank you. So, kung masulti ko karoon, hindi ko sa lahat. Let's check kung ang paper name, Sir Pat. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Thanks, President. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, Dr. Rin. Good morning, everyone. Sir, good morning po. Par, good morning par. Good morning. Good to see you. 
Doc Marvin, <laughs> you, you, everybody. Congratulations, <laughs> President. Good morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, uh, President. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Good Yeah, Paterno, how are you? Thank you, good to see you, sir. Yeah. I think we've all settled down, so good morning once again, and welcome to the Eastern Visayas Region Virtual Advancement Seminar Workshop and Road Safety Advocacy Seminar. My name is John, and I'll be your MC for today. Uh, we will begin our opening ceremony with a prayer and a national anthem through video presentation. The Panunumpa ng Katapatan sa Watawat ng Pilipinas will be led by CSE Marvinizer of Leyte Council, rededication to the Scout Oath in Law by CSE Chrislin Illustrisimo of Cebu Council, and BSP Vision and Mission by FSE Kani Rex Cortez of Cebu Council. May I request everyone to put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Itaas po natin ang ating kanang kamay at sabay-sabay nating bigkasin ang panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisan na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makajos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansa. Ready? Put! Let us all recite the rededication to the Scout Oath and Law, all together in unison. 
on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, the Republic of the Philippines, and to obey the stars. Help other people at all times. Help other people at all times. Help is trustworthy. Trustworthy. Yeah, yeah. Helpful. Fortress. Kind. Vision and mission of the Boy Scout of the Philippines. Vision. For most in preparing the youth to become agents of change in communities guided by the scout of and law. Mission. To help the youth. Develop values, values and acquire, acquire competencies to become, to become responsible, responsible citizens and, and capable leaders, leaders and and anchor the and scout of and law. And law. Thank you very much, ma'am and sir. At this juncture, we would like to formally recognize our guests and participants. And for that, please help me welcome our acting regional scout director for the Eastern Visayas region, Mr. Salvio Kicho. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. 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 Good Honorable Roberto M. Pagdanganan. Good morning, sir. Our regional chairman, Deputy Regional Director of Region 8, Director Maria Jima M. Ledisma. Our regional scout commissioner, Deputy Regional Director of Region 7, Director Celestiano T. Jimenez. Our supportive executive for program on adult resources development, Mr. Yasser Saruna. Our regional training commissioner, Dr. Paterno Belarma. Our regional program commissioner, Superintendent Marina Salamanca. Our resource speakers from LTO, Ms. Per Gutierrez, and from the HPG PNP. And to all Council Scout executives, to all the Council Training and Program Commissioners, and to all local council participants, may I request the participants to make a thumbs up once your council is being called. From Bilirian Council, with 12 participants, headed by CSA Zan Antonio Romagos. <laughs> From the whole councils, headed by CSA Hermes Angoy. From Calvayo City Council, headed by CSA Crisanto Pazzo. From Headed by CSA Hoventino Hokosol Jr. And from Liti Council, headed by Dr. Marvin M. Neiser. From Negros Oriental City Hall Council, 
headed by his A Queen Mariti Ferraren. From Northern Summer Council, headed by his A Joel Orindaen. From Ormok City Council, headed by OIC Junel M. Handok. From Summer Council, headed by CSE Arlita Rodriguez. And from Southern Liti Council, headed by CSE Christopher Efroa. From Tacloban City Council, headed by CSE Jaime Dinis Dolusa. A total of 350 participants joining us today for this virtual advancement seminar workshop on road safety advocacy. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Salvio. Next, to give us their welcome messages, we have with us our regional directors from the Department of Education, who are also officers of our regional scout committee. Let us hear first the welcome message from the regional director of DepEd Region 7, and Regional Scout Commissioner of the Eastern Visayas Region, BSP, Director Saluciano Jimenez. All things are really if our minds be so. It's a matter of attitude and will that will make the difference in our perspective or preparations, according to William Shakespeare. To the own organizers, BSP Eastern Visayas Region, Cebu Council, all equally important attendees in this virtual advancement seminar workshop and road safety advocacy seminar, our warmest welcome. Pandemic can bar us from doing what we believe is good and right that could leave a legacy to the so many to better their lives. These scouting activities we have today is a manifestation of how bold the leaders are in their pursuit towards service above self. So long live the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. So for and on behalf of Deep Ed Central Visayas, once again, a red carpet of warm welcome. God bless everyone. Thank you very much, Director Jimenez. Next, we have the welcome message from the Regional Director of DepEd Region 8 and Regional Chairperson of the Eastern Visayas Region BSP, Director Maria Gemma Legesma. Boy Scout Unit Leaders, Council Executives, Training Commissioners, the local council of the region, a pleasant morning. I am truly honored to be a part of this incredible gathering of Boy Scout advocates, and I feel delighted to speak to you as the regional chairperson of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines for Eastern Visayas. There are many great honors that come with the role as Boy Scouts and this endeavor is among those that will really create great impact in achieving the goals and objectives of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. This seminar on road safety and the new advancement scheme will surely contribute in molding the character of the youth preserving the integrity of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines members and upholding the values of our nation. I salute everyone in attendance today for making this activity a priority. The skills we will learn in this seminar will serve us throughout our lives and just as important, they will also serve our families 
our communities, and eventually our country. It is amazing to know that despite the pandemic, the BSP remains resilient, putting the interests of the nation first by ensuring that we are continuously improving our life skills while coping with the odds of COVID-19. I sincerely thank you, my BSP family in Eastern Visayas, for staying true to our commitment to uphold the sacred values of the true Boy Scout and contribute to nation building according to the ideals, principles, and program of scouting. With this, I would like to enjoin everyone to really put their hearts into this life-changing activity and create a ripple effect in your respective communities so we can all together protect the integrity of the BSP. In conclusion, I would like to welcome you all to this virtual advancement seminar workshop and road safety advocacy. Thank you so much, Director Ledesma. We are honored to have with us a very special guest to give us his inspirational message. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Scout leaders, please help me welcome the National President of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines and himself an advocate of road safety, Honorable Roberto Pagdangan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, dear friend, John Balili, who is Master of Ceremony today. Kabuhay, Boy Scouts of the Philippines, Eastern Visayas Region. Kabuhay! Good morning. Kabuhay! I'm so happy. Mabuhay! Kabuhay! I'm so happy and honored to be with you this afternoon in this uh, virtual advancement seminar and road safety workshop seminar of Eastern Visayas Region. Before going further, let me just acknowledge our honorable Boy Scouts and Scouters who have led us through the years and uh, up to the present and future in scouting in this great region. Let's begin by acknowledging our regional chairman, Dr. Gemma Desma, who just delivered a very, very beautiful message to all of us. He's also the regional director for Region 8. For that end, let me also acknowledge the director, Dr. Soluciano Jimenez, regional director for DepEd Region 7, this regional scout commissioner. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to join us, but the very active former mayor, now vice mayor, Maloni Samako of Masin City, the vice chair for the region, a very active, hardworking, active regional scout director, Salvio Kicho. And, uh, oh, I, I uh, would like to greet the Council of Scout Executives. And I uh, saw another very active Dr. Marvin Neisser, or Neisser of Lady Council, Council, and all the others, CSE Chris Lynn, CSE uh, Rumago, CSE Angoy, CSE Pacho, CSE Hokosol, CSE Ferraren, CSE Orendayen, and all of the councils they have, CSC Arlita Rodriguez of Summer Council, CRC Roa of Southern Leyte, CSE uh, John L. Gandino of CP, of course, with the uh, other one, Mayor Richard, CSE Lenny Kuros of Cebu Council, who led us in uh, the recitation of the Austin Scout and Law. And uh, I'm also very happy that uh, one of our very active uh, officers in the national office, who is the, or the overall coordinator for uh, road safety and uh, other programs, uh, I'm referring to Yasser Sarona, is also able to join us today, this afternoon. 
So to all of you, my dear friends, and those who have not been mentioned, let me salute all of you for your efforts in pursuing our goal. And indeed, as we speak here, about 21,000 Filipinos, more than 21,000 Filipinos have died by rest in peace due to COVID-19. And hundreds of thousands, millions actually, have been suffering. Let's pray for all of them to will recover and for those who have passed on to rest in peace. And even in scouting, we've lost really very active uh, exponents of scouting in the country, like NEB member, uh, Pepito Carpio, and NEB member of Indieta, among others. And really, we mourn their loss due to this pandemic. But having highlighted that, in fact, by mentioning them, highlighting the fact that despite all the challenges and the odds against COVID-19, you, my dear friends in the Eastern Pacific region and all over the country, all the scouts are working very hard to help build the nation we deserve. And we can only do that by supporting our youth, our program for the youth to develop the values character formation, and acquire competencies as leaders to be able to build that kind of society we deserve. That's what scouting is all about. And that's the reason why I can only salute you all and admire you. And even if that pandemic is that allow, doesn't allow us to conduct face-to-face -face meetings, I'm just so happy I'm meeting you in many time on occasions, whenever I go there, whenever you attend annual national council meetings. We just had one, in fact. And so, even virtually, I'd like to salute all of you again and again. I say that. I cannot emphasize enough how much I admire the efforts of the participants, and in particular, the organizers of this seminar. We're, in fact, tackling very, very important topics today. You're hitting two birds in one stone, so to say. We're talking about this uh, advancement program for scouting and uh, road safety promotion. Let me just walk you through very important, very quickly about the importance of these two topics. Lord William Powell instituted, <coughs> sorry, the advancement scheme for scouting so that you'll be able to acknowledge the scouters basic ones to explore. That's what scouts are, young people do. They want to explore, they want to learn from the environment. And also to this for their desire to achieve, to achieve and be recognized. Giving recognition is geared to the needs, aspiration, interests, and activities that appeal to young scouting age. And this actually is very important because advancement highlights the values of scouting and prepares his cows for a life of selfless service to God, country, and fellow men. And by, <coughs> sorry, in so doing, we provide recognition budgets for progressing along the processes based on scouts, particular interest and activity and abilities. And this is also, in effect, advancement. It's a measure of the particular units and the crew in simulating the interests of scouts and encouraging progressive participation in the programs of the scout session. This is the best incentive that we can give you. That means you salute your performance, and this is not just increasing the numbers, this is increasing the quality and preparing our youth to become really outstanding leaders and responsible citizens. That's what this advancement program is all about. And I commend you because, in fact, among all the councils, we just said the National Council, Leyte actually is one of the top notchers. I mean, the Eastern Visayas region is one of the top notchers. And of course, I mentioned Leyte. Leyte is really tops. You had 86% uh, advancement in last year. And that's really truly remarkable. You're top notcher and we acknowledge that. I am also happy, and I would like to acknowledge that uh, today, you're also having this seminar on something that's very close to my heart, and they're talking about road safety promotion. Your road safety has been designated, this 2021 to 2030, has been designated by the United Nations as a decade to promote road safety. 
And this decade, therefore, the goal is to reduce the number of people who are becoming casualties of road, road crosses. You probably are aware, I'd like to highlight, that every year it's estimated that 1,350,000 lives are lost due to road crosses. You know how many that is that every day? 1.35 billion deaths in a year equates to 3,700 people dying every day from road crosses. And that's worldwide. And people who die are discounting AIDS from age 12 to 29. In fact, this is the biggest killer of that particular age group. It's not COVID, although we're very worried about the impact of COVID. It's not dengue, it's not tuberculosis, no, it's road crosses. In the Philippines, you know how many die from road crosses? 12,000 per year. And I think that even this is an understatement. But even if that's true, that already about 33 people die every day from road crosses. I personally think this figure is inaccurate. I think the figure is higher. And why do they suffer road crosses? It's because it's over speeding, they drive under the influence of liquor, they take the uh, overtake uh, on the wrong side, and there are people who don't follow, like tricycles who are not properly lighted, vehicles that are not lighted, and who stay on the fast lane. And this reminds me of a very sad episode in our lives. You know, 2007 years, 2007, year 2007 was 14 years ago. Uh, in January, probably, 